Hi everyone, it's Bev. Welcome back. If you recall, I had a video a while back and I'll link it below, where I made some cards with mini collages. It was my first time making them and so now I'm a little more experienced and I decided to make some Christmas collage cards. These are blank inside and they're made on craft paper and the layers are old cardstock and old background paper as we used to call it in close to my heart back in the 90s. So we have layers of paper that have been saved forever and scraps of paintings. This one is actually a jelly plate print, a piece of cardstock cut with a die and a stamp, a Christmas stamp. I inked the edges of my little collages as well as the layer of scrapbook paper that is behind it. Little pieces of scrapbook paper and I'll share with you the different items on these after I show you the cards. I made a dozen cards using vintage materials and leftovers. I love to go to thrift stores and yard sales where you find treasures like these. They remind me of my childhood. Just looking at these makes me think about the work that went into making these. That little string had to be attached before they sold them. Who did that? Look how this paper has aged. How beautiful is that? It's a tag. Even this one, as simple as it is, is a little work of art. I also use Christmas stamps, which I pulled out of my bag of stamps. And after a while, I just said, that's enough. There were so many Christmas stamps, all different kinds of Christmas stamps. It's beautiful, all kinds. I also found this in my stash, and I used the little pieces of that, as you can see, on this card right here. I just made another little collage a few minutes ago, and on that one I used a piece of leftover ribbon, that's satin ribbon, and a piece of this sequin waste that you can get in a roll like this. A stamp and a verse off of one of these cards that I found at a lady's house when she was selling all of her things to go into existed living. Hopefully, just me using them this way will bring them back to life again. I use old paintings as my substrate. I cut them, or I should say I tear them. Usually paintings that are either just a trial, you know, just for fun. Some old scrapbook paper paintings. I have a bag of ribbon. I even have some washi tape and some vintage rickrack. So anything you may have, it doesn't have to be what I have. What I have is my junk. <laughs> what you have is your junk. And we're gonna play with it today. Another thing I wanted to share is using some of your dies. This one is a Tim Holtz Biggs die. It's a got the uh, blades are embedded in here, so you don't need to use a lot of things in the sandwich that you make for your machine. I've cut, as you can see, a lot of metal cans. I've actually cut. I think I have one on one of the cards here. Let's see, where is it? You can see die cuts, the buildings. There's a flower from here, right here. And here it is. This one is an aluminum can and it's also been embossed with an embossing folder. And I had it left over, so I just added it to this card. I'm trying to look through my pile of stuff here on the desk to show you another interesting thing. And I just keep burying things and it makes it... Oh, here we go. All right. This is a little die 
from Penny Black that I got several years ago and look how teeny tiny it is. So tiny. Right here on this card, I used the tiny sleigh and horse. I also used on one of the cards, or more than one, the little buildings. And I cut them out of gold cardstock. So pretty. And there's that piece of rickrack. Here's some sequins on this one. A little package of sequins I have. So anything that you have, you can pull out and play and make these little collages. This is from an embossing folder that actually made a Christmas tree this big, but this is just the top of it. And I just sanded it and I added a little bit of Muvo glitter drops to the tree. Look at this little guy right here. Isn't he adorable? The edges are inked and inked here. You could ink them in different colors or you don't have to ink them at all. So every card is unique, which makes it super special for the person you send it to. And the most wonderful thing is that this kind of a card can it be put into a frame and saved because it's actually a work of art. Let's make one. And I already made this little guy and as you can see, he's just a piece of a painting. And then, like I said, I ripped this out of one of those cards, added a stamp and a little bow and a piece of that sequin waist. And this can go on a piece of Christmas cardstock. When I made these, I had to write down the measurements. And even though I wrote down the measurements, I still messed them up. So you really have to pay attention even if you write them down. Now with my paper trimmer, which is a wonderful thing to have, and I know we all have them. When I was in my RV last time, I forgot to bring mine. So it was a little difficult. I used scissors for everything. Now the first layer, because this is a four and a quarter by five and a half card, right? Very simple. The next layer down is going to be, instead of four and a quarter by five and a half, it's gonna be four by five and a fourth. So we're gonna cut this one, nope, not this one. We're gonna cut a piece of cardstock for the background. You can use anything. I just did this to keep, give it a frame. It's gonna go like that. So I'm going to cut this at five and a quarter by four. And then after that layer, we're gonna, oh, I'm gonna cut this edge off because this edge right here could be used in another collage as an element. This one I'm going to cut a quarter inch smaller than that. So it'll be five inches by three and three fourths. And that gives you that eighth of an inch border around there. Now this isn't rocket science. So this is super easy. You could just go ahead and cut a bunch like this, you know, while you're watching TV or whatever, or a video or whatever, just cut these and then you're ready to go. This is the card itself, five and a half by four and a quarter. The next one, five and a quarter by four, and then the next one, five by three and three quarters, okay? And then we just attach our little collage that we made, and there you go. Now, when I attached this, I took it to my sewing machine and I just sewed around the edges. When you sew paper, it's super simple because it moves through the needle so easily. And if you want to, you can lift the needle and move it around. Take a look at the video that I did before if you wanna see the entire process. Now, I also noticed that I wanna do a little inking around the edges of this, and I don't think I wanna use a vintage color. I think what I'm going to do is just use red. I think candy apple is more red, don't you? This is lips worn lipstick, and I don't think that's quite red enough. I'm gonna grab this little collage and just go around the edges with some of this red candy apple bring out the edges and make it more festive. So there is that little collage. And now I'm gonna ink the edges of this, oopsie. <laughs> I just dumped over my roses. My little vintage roses from my garden. They're just so cute. Look at them. I just dried them upside down. They're so cute. I'm gonna ink the edges of this with the same candy apple red. Cute names they give these. Okay, so we have this and this. If you don't have a sewing machine, that's okay. You don't have to sew it at all. We're just gonna glue this one in place. I just wanna thank all of you. I've been getting some comments and a lot of views and I'm so very thankful for each and every one of you. And there is this card. Now all I have to do is glue this layer 
And if you do sew them on a sewing machine, I just use regular thread and I just haphazardly stitch. And you don't have to use craft card stock. You can use any card stock you want, of course. This is what I happen to have a lot of. So I'm gonna cut this edge at five and a half and fold it in half. And that of course gives you two card bases. I'm really trying hard to stay in, in frame. This is my third attempt at this video because of how bad I am. And that's why you might see some tape at top or bottom because I put it there so I stay in frame. Just terrible at that. So here's my card base. And then I'm gonna add this to the card base. And there's my Christmas card. How easy is that? And fun, and fun. Did I say fun? <laughs> of course you can use double-sided tape, anything you want to glue this to the front. And there it is. How cute, right? If you wanted to, you could even rip something off and put it inside. Or take one of these old gift tags and put it in there. Wouldn't that be cute? So there's so many things you can do. Let me just show you a few of the ones that I did again. I showed you at the beginning, but this time maybe when you look at them, you'll notice some different things. See the stitching? And the background. There's those little village buildings. This is piece of uh, an old painting, piece of scrapbook paper. There's one of those little edges. Remember, I cut it off, and some rickrack. You can get different color combinations. There's another piece of that edge stamp. Piece of a painting back here. You can actually see the little tiny flowers I painted. One of those little buildings. And this was off of a piece of six by six cardstock. See the back here? That's a piece of that gold cardstock. So grab what you have and have fun with it. Sequins, there they are. You see, this is actually a piece of background paper that I designed and every one of them is stitched. Now when I stitch them, I don't stitch them onto the whole card. You can't see the stitching because it's only stitched to this piece and then I mounted it onto the blue, and then I mounted it onto the card. You could stitch right through two layers, as long as you have one more layer to hide it. So as I show you these one more time, you can see what I used. Die cuts, embossed, leftover plastic flowers, and anything you have, anything you have, make yourself some collage cards. Have fun, and every one is different. Every single one. See you next time. Bye.